starts here mm. and oh my fucking god holy shit how does he have that many emails he emailed me like wait, wait, wait. go slower so i can see the names can we talk now please <laughs> i miss you <laughs> Please read bio. Just read the post. <laughs> no way. Okay, yeah. You actually do have a crazy ex. Yeah. Yo, what up? It's KC, the Red Pill Alpha. Back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. Y'all already know what time it is. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of the motherfucking neck. Holding it down, locking it down with that motherfucking game. Damn right. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, piping hot status, you're going to get it down your phone and to your ear. All ear candy game. Oh, yeah. You got any comments, get at me in my Gmail. rails 4 go 12 at gmail.com. It's R-E-L-L-S-F-A-R-G-O-1-2 at gmail.com. Or you can just get at me on YouTube or any social site you see up there. I prefer the Gmail. But you know how to do it. Just get at me. And once again... I might miss plugging this in, but I'm always try to plug this in if I can remember. <clears throat> if you guys <clears throat> get at me on my social media, let me know who you are because you got a lot of weirdos that'll pop up and send you fake friend requests and all that other shit. But let me know who you are so I can go ahead and accept you. We can go from there. Now, this is what happens to you if you can't let her go. You know? Yeah, I already see the video. It's fucked up. It's crazy. Now you see how they'll treat you once you show weakness. She's putting her ex on blast right in front of the new pipe she's receiving. Right in front of the new guy she's receiving. You know, she's fucking with this new guy. She's putting him right on blast. He don't see it, though. He's, he's blind to the shit. Young players, check this out. If you and your chick on the downslide in your relationship... And she demands her space, give it to her ASAP. Don't wait up. Don't wait a day to if she stay with you or whatever. Bye. Take her shit. Drop that shit off. Get away from me. You know, change locks. Do what you do. Bye. And if you stay with her, get you a spot ASAP and get the fuck away from her and keep pushing. That's real shit. Do not linger around. That only show weakness. And that only show that uh she can utilize you more because you showing that you need it. You're depending on it. You know, real shit. Don't be on that sucker shit. Trying your best, you know, trying your best to fix something that's broken into a million pieces, which you can't do. I don't give a shit what your parents or peers taught you. You can't chase something that doesn't want to be caught. <laughs> real shit. Yeah, most of you young dudes' parents are coming out in the 90s. The era of the slow music simping. And most of your peers... Listen to that, buy her a Birkin bag, sip ass Migo shit. Man, you can't do that shit, bro, to keep a bitch around, man. If she don't want to be, she don't want to be kept, man, you can't try to keep her. You know? And I, it's like running like, like a chicken, running around trying to, trying to get the fuck away from you. Trying to hatch his egg, trying to do what it do, do what it do. You know what a chicken do, trying to get the fuck, you trying to catch it. It don't want to be caught. When they want to be caught, it you know, you can end up catching it. But if a bitch don't want to be caught, let her keep pushing. And that's real shit. So it's definitely a chance you have some fucked up game inside of you. Yeah, listening to that shit and listening to your, you know, certain peers and parents and fuck all that, bro. Listen to this game here. I'm here to change all that. You know, just know that women... Have their moment, if not moments, in life to simply travel through their whole phase. And you got to accept that, man. It is what it is. That's life. You can't stand in front of her with the big red stop sign. <laughs> thinking you are, you know, thinking you are going to change the way she view things. Man, hell no. You can't do that, bro. You cannot do that. And that's real shit. That'll make her not respect you even more than ever. For an example, this could take place. I've seen it all. Trust me, I've seen a lot of shit, bro. I've been through a lot of shit just as well. I wore a scent jacket before. You're goddamn right. I did simp shit. I try to buy flowers. 
I try to buy concert tickets. I try to buy shoes and little shit like that just to get in her good graces when she didn't want me anymore. And I didn't have the game to let her go. And it turned around and backfired on me. I've been through some shit like this, similar, and I've seen a lot of shit like that. I've mainly seen a lot of shit like this. And I have my times of going through it. I'm not great. I'm not exempt. I'm not no different from you. You know, we are the same motherfucker. We human beings. We men. So deception is reality. It's like the video I dropped. You can be deceived. Perception is reality. The way you carry your motherfucking self, motherfucking try to get up under you like that, man. And that's real. You will be perceived on who you are and how you are and what type of person you are. And that's real shit. You know? Now, you know, like I said, I've seen it all. Now, you're all in your feelings because she's out keistering the next man's pickle. <laughs> Can't get mad at that, man. That motherfucking hole's made for that. That's real shit. It's made for that, bro. That's what God bought that motherfucker here for. You know, that's what God bought your shit here for. It's made an insert, and her shit's made to take the insert. And that's just real shit. <laughs> you're blowing up her phone. You know, via calls, emails, and texts over a thousand fucking times. Real shit. You are creating multiple emails like this clown trying to grab her attention. You are stalking her social media. You're stalking her home, her parents' home, and probably doing more than that. Stalking her job, you know, shit like that. Stalking the gym she may go to if she in the fitness. Stalking her sister's house, brother's house, cousin's house, friend's house. Do a whole lot of shit, man. You know, you know she may show up to this certain attendance at a certain event or a certain thing she may do. She may get her hair done at this certain salon on this certain day. You stalking that shit. You know, what favorite grocery store she go to, you stalking that motherfucker. Man, a lot of you fellas that did a lot of simp-ass shit, man. You know, real shit. Only to get them to dig deeper into your soul. To try to fuck you around even more. You know? Women ain't gonna let up because you hurt. Fuck no. That makes them dig deeper. Because they know they got a motherfucker down on his knees. And once you down on your goddamn knees, you down on your luck. And when you down on your luck, you become target. You're easy. You're vulnerable. She can squeeze you. Tight as a motherfucker for everything you got. You look like a prune now. Toss your ass right to the trash can. These bitches don't give a fuck, man. It's real shit. It can definitely happen to you. It will definitely happen to you. If you don't watch your steps. And if you're not paying attention to this game here. So, subscribe to the motherfucking channel. And pass the shit around. It's real. Now, you know, you are becoming an emotional wreck just because she wanted out of the relationship. Like it's the end of the world or something. Why do you fellas do that, man? I can't sleep, baby, without you in my life. I don't want to go on, baby. That R. Kelly shit, you remember that shit? 90s music, simp era shit. You know, your early 2000s, 90s, and you know, simp era shit. A lot of your parents come out of there. I come out of there. You damn right. While a lot of the motherfuckers were simping in there, oh, you had real OGs around too, lacing game, but it was a lot of simps buying flowers, you know, playing soul music, prepping your cologne up. Pulling up, telling her the nice things she want to hear. Showing up with teddy bears, taking her out on a date. You know, popping champagne bottles and shit. Bubble bath, hot tubs, and all that other shit. Man, get the fuck out of here. And what she do back then? In the 90s, a lot of you older fellas around my, I'm 39. A lot of you fellas of my age, what was they doing to them guys back then? Let's keep it real. Let's keep it all the way real. And a lot of you youngsters, I'm speaking to the youngsters. This video right here is for the youngsters. 
A lot of your parents come out of that era. Oh, yeah. What was they doing back then? Just smelling the pussy. Just probably getting a little bit. The bad boys was yamming that motherfucker. And that was me. I was a bad boy. I know. You know, really ain't no different than today. Just a lot of shit moved over to social. Everything's in social media now. The same chicks you want a hot tub, bubble bath, and pop champagne, take fly around the world and buy her the best bags and shoes and all that shit. That's the same bitch out here getting her shit yammed down on, man. Straight keystring a bad boy's pickle like it ain't shit. And the bad boys are considered the dudes who don't tell them they not. Don't tell them that, your baby, you're beautiful. Don't validate them. You know, check this shit out of them. Bang they motherfucking back out. Keep going. Don't blow them up. And must, you got to must remember this. Bang they motherfuckers. How you put that motherfucker. That's how you maneuver. You got to have the charisma within the bed and outside the bed. And that'll keep her in pocket. Real shit. Now let's jump down on now, what was I had on this mother? Okay. She'll see that you're a man that can't leave. That's when she'll really dig deep into your spirit. I said that. She'll tell a new dude that, you know, she's been done with you. And you are the crazy type that'll hurt her or someone over her. Ooh. I seen that too. <laughs> she'll gas him up to go against you. She'll give him your number and your address or allow him to answer when you call just to kick shit off between you two. Oh, yeah. How many fellas out there been through that? How many fellas seen that shit? It's out there. Y'all know what it is. Subscribe, bro. It's real shit. It's the message. Now, this guy here is, you know, a clear example of them starting shit. The dude here, you know, Looking at all the shit. Damn, wow, you do have a crazy ex and all that other shit. She's gassing him up. He's being geared up to get ready to go against the ex. He don't see it, though. You know, real shit. We're going to talk about this. And she's clearly starting shit. But boy, well, they'll do that, bro. By him being a simp, watching how she shits on her ex, he's definitely game to do Whatever she tells him to do. Oh, yeah. He might be the player. Be like, look, you know what? I can see through her bullshit. She ain't right. He can either see through her bullshit and dump her ass off. Bitch, get the fuck on. Or. Or. <laughs> he can simply build up his own hate for you by watching that drama on her phone. <sighs> A chick can get ruthless. If she feel you are holding her back from a dude she really values, bro. That's why you got to let them go. Fuck that. When they want their space, run ASAP. What the fuck? It's bot. Or if you kick her the fuck out. Or if you stand with her, get you a room. If you got some bread, say that what you fellas should have your bread. Get your bread up, man. Start working. Start investing within yourself. Start investing into something. Get your money up. Get your fit, your health up. And that's going to lead you to getting your money up. Because you, you can't be running around this motherfucker. Uh, you can't think that you're going to be around forever if your fitness and your, you know, your health isn't right. You can't be running around forever thinking that you're going to be making all this motherfucking money and you out of shape, man. That's not going to happen. You're going to create health problems. That's going to cause you to spend a lot of money dealing with the doctors and all this shit. So if, how to avoid that shit, try to eat right, prep your meals, get your health up, you know. And that also generates a healthy mind. Real shit. By you being your health, keeping your body up and you know you sweating and doing cardio and all that, that'll create a healthy mind just as well. You'll start thinking clear. You know what you want and don't want in life. You'll start seeing through shit. And it starts out with you wanting the best for yourself. And that's real shit. You know? And you know, you, you know, this real shit, bro. And you must understand. Chicks are ruthless, and they can get ruthless just to get motherfuckers fighting over them and tripping over them and shit, you know, just, you know, it helps them with their ego. That's how these bitches are, man. It's just real shit. And you must do this. Fuck her. Don't stop that bitch. Drop that bitch. Real shit. 
Don't be in her way with a stop sign. If she want to go out and be a hoe, do what she do and fuck around, let her do that. Don't chase her down. Don't create a shitload of emails chasing the bitch down. No, you're wasting time. The same time you're doing that shit, the same time you're wasting putting it to her, same time you can be, you know, putting it to yourself. And you're not wasting it. It's beneficial. It's helping you. You put that shit right into yourself. Put that shit right into your grind and your hustle. Get your money up, man. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. You want to go through that shit. You be like, fuck a bitch. You have more options. You know, because that's, you know, looking at that, that's, you know, that's, fuck that, man. Showing your business all out there and shit, you know, basically, you know, shit, you a bitch to her. She don't respect you, you know, so fuck that bitch. You know, don't stop her. Let her keep going. Drop her. Like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's the message. Holla.